Tonight, investigates a rape allegation involving a student at the Alabama School of Math and Science. Tonight, former students are expressing concern about the way the school handled the situation. News 5's Brianna Hollis joins us now live outside ASMS to tell us how these concerned alumni are rallying together in response to that letter, Bri uh, Brianna. Yeah, Roseanne, so we're told a group of alumni actually had a plan to hound the school with calls and emails expressing that concern you just mentioned. The reaction to this is in response to a letter they received from the alleged victim outlining what she says happened after she told a staff member another student raped her off campus. A group of alumni from the Alabama School of Math and Science crafted a petition to administrators after reading what they're calling a shocking letter from a student last week. News 5 obtained that letter, but we're not releasing it to protect the student's identity. In that letter, the alleged victim says another student raped her off campus in November, and she claims she told a staff member the day after the attack. The letter goes on to say ASMS didn't call police when she told them. In a statement we got from ASMS yesterday, administrators say staff met with the students in question and did call police, but that statement doesn't go into detail about when police were notified. We asked Mobile Police for that timeline as well. They tell us they're working on getting us that information. Meanwhile, a group of alumni got together and drafted an email to send administrators today. This is an email from one of those former students who asked to keep their identity concealed. It outlines a list of seven demands, including a comprehensive set of resources that let students know their rights when they are a victim of a crime, including a procedure for reporting sexual assault. It also goes so far as to call for statements from and the resignation of staff members mentioned in that student's letter. Right now, ASMS will only communicate with us through an attorney, and that attorney says at this point he doesn't have permission to speak in response to the student's letter. Now, we did also ask him about the school's sexual assault reporting policy. He said he'd have to get back to us on that sometime tomorrow, and of course, we will continue to follow up with all parties involved in this investigation. Reporting live in Mobile tonight, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.